So this is ASAP Club Fun the Grape from G Dye. Uh, I tried their other two drinks. Uh, one's called Awake, the other one's called Balanced. Uh, but so far, this is the only addition to the lineup. Uh, they still don't have a lot of info publicly available, uh, but they were established in 2022. Um, the manufacturing of this drink itself is handled by Cheerio. They are a drink company. Um, so I think they're more uh, a marketing company, and you might have noticed this uh, anime girl kind of peeking through. Uh, this is a tie-up with uh, an anime called Oshinoko. Uh, it's pretty popular right now. Um, it's probably one of those if you know, you know things, and I won't cover it because I don't, I haven't watched it. Uh, right now, they are collaborating with the anime on all three of their drinks. Um, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to drink the other two again. And I'm assuming this one has that same kind of medicine-y flavor of its counterparts because it uses that same uh, Makuna extract in its drink. Um, you know, there's some marketing blurbs on here. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Awaken your fandom with the bubbly punch of this drink. Uh, become a monster level fan with its ultimate grape flavor. Okay, uh, as someone with a marketing background, I can't say I'm a fan of this flowery speak that means absolutely nothing. What I'm more impressed with is how this tiny company with only three drinks to its name managed to snag a collab with one of the more popular anime shows. I mean, you know, unless they bet the farm on this, on their marketing budget, and if this doesn't go well, that they're going to tank. I really don't know how they did this. I mean, how does some unknown manage to get them as opposed to, I don't know, maybe a more well-known brand? I mean, unless they have marketing budgets that are being paid by other resources within the company. Uh, most drink companies only work with, you know, the smallest of margins that they tend to have to offset with either mass distribution or borrow funds from other divisions within the company. But anyway, I'm getting too much into, you know, marketing work. So I'll curtail the marketing lesson to about here. Uh, as mentioned before, they have two other drinks, one called Awake, the other one called Balanced. Uh, I'll use Makuna extract, which is some kind of bean that I can't decipher its effects on the human body other than it causes itchiness if you touch with the naked fingers or your hand or whatever. Anyway, getting on to the ingredients. I hope this shows up. Uh, purple on purple. That's not the best color coordination for legibility. Anyway, uh, first thing listed is large percentage of drink. Uh, domestic high fructose corn syrup, fracu, glucose, macuna extract, and dextrin, royal jelly, and dextrin, uh, acidulant, carbonation, fragrance, L-arginine, caramel and vegetable food coloring, caffeine, L-leucine, L-isoleucine, valine, uh, valine? Uh, niacin, L-sodium glutamate, glycine, sodium, aspira. Well, anyway, I'm not going to read all this. Just read it on the page, I guess. Uh, calorically, let's see. What's this guy? I, it's very similar to the other drinks that come out of this thing. Um... Moving on to the caloric information, this guy is a 250 mil can, so it's about eight and a half fluid ounces. It's 117 calories, one gram protein, zero grams fat, 28.3 grams carbohydrates, 0 .3, 0 0.03 grams of salt, 550 milligrams of arginine, and 52 milligrams of caffeine. Now, if I recall correctly, the other guys kind of sucked. But, hoping, uh, that smells grapey. And not in the good kind of grape smell, kind of like a medicine grape smell. Do you ever have Dimatap? I had that stuff when I was a kid, and uh, you only drink that stuff when you have a cold, so uh, you don't associate with good memories. Anyway, bottoms up. Oh, that's not. Hmm? Oh. Well, no. Okay. It's not bad, actually. It's it's better than the other drinks that I remember. Um, I remember having a pretty bad reaction to both of them. Uh, compared to the other two, this is drinkable. But, I mean, 
do you really want to spend your hard-earned cash to drink something that's just drinkable? Um, yeah, it reminds me of carbonated Diamond Tap. Carbonated grape flavor, grape flavor Diamond Tap. Um, I don't know. Do you like that kind of stuff? Like I said, Diamond Tap just reminds me of when I have a cold. Uh, hmm. Well, it's almost like politics. You have three different choices. You have this fun to grape, you have awake, and you have balanced. Uh, which one is the lesser of all three evils? And I'd say this one by a wide margin. I mean, but still, it's evil. All right, till next time, the drink's on me.